Thank you, uh, Emily. Thanks. First of all, thanks for everyone for joining today on our 411 on WIN webinar. We are trying to, um, we are adding this webinar series this year. We want to be sure that we're connecting with our members because, you know, your membership, your support of us is so important to the organization. So please take a minute to share your name and your company name in the chat box. And if you have any questions, chat, you know, feel, please feel free to put that in chat. We're monitoring that chat box. Um, and if you can, either, you know, put your, mic, your uh, microphones on mute, so it'll just make for a little bit easier um, event today. Uh, we are recording today's event, so you can come back to it at another time. Um, but first of all, thank you everyone for taking your time and taking that time to be on our call today. We really appreciate it. So first, welcome to WIN. You know, WIN, we are a not-for-profit organization. We're dedica dedicated to encouraging, supporting, and cultivating women in the collision repair industry. And thank all of you that are on the call today for your support to our efforts in order to recognize and promote women in the industry. We do want to take a minute to thank our sponsors. You know, we don't exist without our members and we do not exist without our sponsors. We want to thank our diamond sponsor, Axel Nobel, our platinum sponsor, Enterprise, our gold sponsors, Exalta, BASF, Driven Brands, Gerber, and PPG. We'd also like to take a moment to thank our silver, bronze, our partner sponsors, and our friends of WIN. All of these organizations support everything we do, including this webinar. So thanks to everyone for their continued support of advancing women in our industry. Thank you, Kathy. Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl Boswell. I'm the WIND Chair this year, and it's an honor to spend some time with you today. One of the things we've talked about as a board is that we wanna make sure our members and the industry understand what we're all about and what we're trying to accomplish. And so our hope is that by the end of this call today, that those of you who aren't members become WIND members, and those of you who are members but are not actively involved that you find a spot for yourself and you're able to sign up and help volunteer with us this next year. So basically, WIN is all about building networks, recognizing our leaders, funding scholarships, and creating connections. WIN was started uh, almost 15 years ago, and so it's exciting to see how things have changed um, and how the industry is really moving forward. But when we go back to the basics, really our mission from day one to our mission today hasn't really changed. Um, really the goal is and the mission is to drive industry sustainability by developing women through education and connections. And I think you'll hear more about that today, how we're doing that. And our vision, we sat down a few years ago and we said, let's really you know, rewrite that vision a little bit. But honestly, we didn't have to tweak that much. Um, we basically said we still want to be the network that helps drive the future of the collision repair industry by attracting women, then developing them, and advancing women. So how do we achieve our mission? The exciting thing is you're going to hear from each committee today in terms of what their work is, what they're working on to help achieve the mission and vision. But Again, Kathy mentioned, you know, without sponsorship, we wouldn't be able to have events like today and we wouldn't be able to support our members in the industry. So sponsorship is a key component. We also have our industry outreach where we're actively involved in the industry, communications and marketing, our educational component and our membership component, scholarship and recognizing leaders.
Great. Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jenny Anderson, and I am the Vice Chair for WIN. And I'm so excited to see all of you guys dialed in here um, to join us today. So we wanted to go through our three main strategic goals. Uh, our first is strengthening our network. So WIN really wants to be the go-to network for women that are seeking collision industry education and connections. And you'll see how we do that in just a little bit. Our second goal is to resource our industry. So we do that by being the recognized leader in understanding, communicating, and reducing barriers to attracting, developing, and retaining women in the collision repair industry. And then our third goal is to expand our capacity. And we do this through the um, building of our financial and operational capacity to better serve our stakeholders. So if we go back one slide, um, really what we do um, to achieve our goals is through all of our committee work. And so we're going to go through each of the individual committees, but we wanted to give you a glimpse into how you could sign up or join a committee. Um, so if you want to scan that QR code, um, that will allow you to join. But if you also go to our website and click on the about and then leadership um, and you scroll to the bottom, you will find a section where you can actually sign up for um, your committee interest. And then this information gets submitted and somebody from our board will follow up with you. So we're trying to make it as simple as possible to help all of you get involved. So next, we're actually going to jump into the individual committees. So I'm going to turn it over to Tanya to talk about our sponsorship committee. Thank you, Jenny. Hi, everyone. My name is Tanya Sweetland. Um, I've spent more than half my life working in the industry, but I only learned about when a handful of years ago and started volunteering. I now serve on the WIN board and the executive committee and lead sponsorship team. So I wanna share a little bit about the sponsorship committee. It's really about sponsor engagement, retaining and recognizing our longstanding supporters and sharing the WIN vision with new companies who wanna be connected with industry sustainability through commitment to WIN. Funding from sponsors actually accounts for the majority of our operating budget and that's providing the physical and technical and virtual infrastructure necessary to connect hundreds of women to a unique and necessary support network. One of the most important components of the network is membership, which is why we're excited about the 2020 objectives that included expanding sponsor benefits and complimentary first time memberships for partner to diamond level sponsors provided an opportunity for sponsoring companies to bring dozens of additional women into membership for the first time. <clears throat> Sorry. We also feel very strongly about recognizing our sponsors. And in addition to placement on the WIN web website, we now make use of all four social media platforms. When it comes to committee opportunities, I'm thrilled to say that we have a team of nine incredible women from the US and Canada who operate and own repair facilities and work in sales and marketing for leading suppliers. Our first order of business is with sponsor retention and engagement, keeping those who have been the longest and strongest win champions on our support team. And not only praising them for their forward, -linking, forward thinking leadership, but making it easier for them to use and share their benefits. We also share the WIN vision with other companies in the industry so that we can provide opportunities for more women to enter the collision industry and for those that are already here to become aware that the network exists and how it's designed to support them. When it comes to time commitment, it's important to know that all volunteer opportunities are extremely flexible to your time and talents on all the committees. Ideally, team members for sponsorship would attend a one hour work session each month to get an update on what's going on with WIN as an organization and better understand the open action items for our team. And if they have time, pick something that fits their availability, talent, and interests. If you want to know more about the work of sponsor engagement, we have a monthly orientation call to share the specifics 
And of course, later on, after all the committees have shared, you'll get a reminder on how to sign up. Hi there. This is Debbie Mims, and I co-chair the Fellowship Committee. So our committee is, the goal of our committee is a resource for women that are enrolled in collision repair technology. And each year, we choose women throughout the United States through an application process that we give funds to. We give them a $1,000 scholarship to help with the tuition at school. In addition, we give them free memberships to win. And then chosen few of those are also invited to join our conference, our yearly conference, with all expenses paid. And they're also given a mentor for one year to help them through their transition from school life into the actual work life out into our industry. So you can change slides, please. So I can tell you that this has proven to be a life-changing event for many of the women. Our committee is a, a fairly large committee. We have two co-chairs and 14 members. Everything we do is currently broken out into four buckets, uh, subcommittees. And each subcommittee has a set of tasks that they, they perform for us. We are trying to be really good stewards of the money that Wynn has and that is donated to us. So we try to make the best of everything we can. We have written SOPs for all of our processes and policies. And every month, we have certain projects that we're working on. We currently have two projects that are super fun that we're involved with. So if you are looking for a fun, rewarding committee that can make a difference in someone's life, you need look no more. This would be the committee for you. So more information, just sign up, and we'll tell you how to do this. It's easy. Thank you for your time. Denise, you're on mute. Yeah, I was going to say. I'll go ahead. It looks like Denise may be having some challenges. So hello, my name is Elizabeth Stein. I am uh, one of the committee chairs for the membership committee. I have a co-chair, Denise Kingstrom. Um, the goal of our membership committee really is to grow and retain a diverse and engaged member base while creating value-added benefits for members. Um, one of the things I am going to just quick, there we go. Uh, our key accomplishments, uh, our committee really is in charge of being able to communicate with the members and to create programs to where the members can feel connected. So one of those is our webinar that we're hosting right now. We also do regional events. We launched our Pay It Forward initiative last year to where members can actually buy memberships for other members. So we'll be getting into that a little bit later. Uh, we, uh, we also have a mentor subcommittee, which we created a mentor survey, which we'll be sending out next week. So I'm hoping that, uh, that you'll be able to participate in that. And then uh, do you want, I'm gonna share with you, Denise, if you wanna talk about committee opportunities. Well, hopefully you guys can hear me. Yes. But, um, if you, okay, great, sorry about that. So yeah, we have a lot of great new committee, subcommittees and, and some new leads. So between the, Denise, we lost you again. But what you're saying is very important. Liz, can you pick up for Denise on this slide? Yep, I'm going to. Thank so, you. No problem, Denise. So our committee, so we have our several committee opportunities. So um, we have our webinar subcommittee where our webinar subcommittee gets to vet different opportunities for webinar educational opportunities. Uh, last month, we hosted one on the MIW. We're working on a technical training webinar, which will be uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. And then we're also working on some soft skills webinars. 
we have a regional event subcommittee. So if you are, it's a tremendous opportunity. I have hosted uh, and Denise has hosted and several of us have hosted regional events where we get together local WIN members and we get to network. Sometimes we have speakers and panels or it's a great opportunity to be able to network and there's a lot of support that our board provides you. So, you know, if you're willing to help lead that, there's a lot of support and, and we're able to help host that. We also have our pay it forward subcommittee where we're able to help match uh, candidates that would like to sponsor members with candidates that would like to have membership opportunities and to be able to have that. And then we also have our membership outreach subcommittee and that's reaching out to our members uh, to make sure that we are engaged with our member base and that we constantly are providing value added services for our members. The time commitment to be part of our committee is about, uh, I would say you have a subcommittee meeting, which is about one hour per month. And then you also have our general meeting, which is the fourth Friday of every month. And that's about one hour. So about two hours. Plus, if you have additional work, you're working on a webinar that takes a couple of more hours, but it's minimal commitment. It's mainly over the phone and we definitely are looking for committee members. And then it's a great way to be able to network and combine with our members. Next slide, please. Our Pay It Forward campaign, we're very excited about this. So our Pay It Forward campaign, it's a $95 commitment. In your chat box, I happen to send you a link. Um, it's a great way for you to be able to pay for a subscription for a deserving uh, collision instructor, a technician, maybe there's an account manager or an office manager, or maybe you yourself would like to have a membership, you can apply through the Pay It Forward campaign. So uh, when, you, when you actually participate in the Pay It Forward, you also get these really cool socks, which are, you know, they're kind of the mark of the industry. So we look for those socks. It's a high mark of distinction. So a great way that you can participate. So if you don't have the time to be able to participate in a committee, this is a great way to participate. So pay for a membership for someone deserving in the industry to be able to participate. You can also um, either buy a membership or even sh share our Pay It Forward program with people within your network. So share that link on your social media page because maybe there's someone in your network that you know is a local office manager or a regional manager or just starting out in their career and they would love to have a subscription to win. So this is a great opportunity to be able to help support win and to help share, uh, share the love. So I uh, thank you and we hope to see you uh, on our committee. So that is it for us. Thank you. I love those socks. I hope everybody on the call gets a pair of those. Um, so this is Jenny Anderson again. Um, I co-chair the marketing committee with Susie. Um, and we have a lot of really cool things going on. So as you can see, um, our main objective is really to increase the visibility of our organization um, through different communication methods. So some of the things that we've accomplished for 2020, uh, first and foremost is our um, website redesign. So hopefully in the fall, you guys will see um, a new and improved user experience when you are searching um, for the Women's Industry Network. So we're really excited about that, so stay tuned. We also launched a quarterly e-newsletter. So this is an opportunity for us to let all of you guys know what's happening with our organization, what we're focused on um, and what types of things you can look forward to. And then hopefully you guys saw our industry white paper study that we did with Body Shop Business as well that featured um, Cheryl Boswell. So um, that was a really um, interesting study to be a part of and we learned some um, really good information and, and took some insights from that. In terms of opportunities, um, we have a number of different areas where we can plug folks in. Um, so if you're somebody that likes to write um, content or proofread, uh, we are definitely the place for you. So we're looking for folks that can help assist with um, writing and proofing um, different communications. Um, we also oversee our event um, and marketing calendars. So making sure that everybody has a view into what's happening with WIN month to month. Um, we've got a lot of things going on and we really wanna centralize that so that everybody can take advantage of what we've got happening. Um, and then we're also working on just streamlining our communication process in general. Um, and so we would love some input around that. 
And then if you're also interested in social media, we are looking to increase our online presence. So there's a lot of really great opportunities for folks um, to join the marketing committee. In terms of time commitment, um, it's fairly minimal. So it's about one to two hours each month um, just like a lot of other committees, and then any type of kind of follow up items that you might be working on. So um, this is one of the most fun committees. So I highly encourage you guys to get involved. Um, and again, it's, it's really easy to sign up if you're interested. So we hope to see you on the marketing committee. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kim Frazier and I am a WIN board member and the conference committee um, co-chair along with Wendy Rogers. The conference committee is a team of very hardworking ladies and several subcommittees. We are in charge of making sure each year's educational conference is fresh, relevant, well-organized and memorable. So just like the name says, conference is pretty much our focus. So. Um, this past year was a little bit of a challenge, as I'm sure you could imagine. Um, we had to keep the momentum up um, with planning a relevant conference for whenever we're um, able to have our next one so that we could be ready uh, while uh, minimizing our cancellations and um, you know, trying to make it as seamless as possible. So we did that, I feel like we were very effective and we also had our first year with a dedicated uh, conference administrator and uh, that I believe helped as well. So um, our time commitments are just like everybody else. We have one uh, monthly call for about an hour and then we have subcommittee calls uh, about the same. And then we just ask to follow up on, um, you know, random tasks that somebody might volunteer for. So it's really, really flexible and we can make it fit anyone's schedule. Um, if you think you are a great fit for our committee, please reach out. Wendy, Yolanda, Deb and I would love to have you. And um, our opportunities are pretty much um, as listed. We, we vet speakers and we create content. We always need help with that. Um, fresh ideas are always welcome. We also have breakout sessions that we try to keep relevant to the many different aspects of our industry. Um, so anything from soft skills to, you know, technical information, we're always looking for, for fresh topics there. And, um, and we love getting help from our volunteers there. We also incorporate some charita charitable events and um, scholarship walk into the conference and we need help executing that as well as on site execution um, with um, set up and registration, which is actually on site um, every year. So we could always use help with that as well. So if this sounds like you, definitely reach out and uh, we will follow up with you. Next slide. Thanks, Kim. Hi, my name is Susie Frosto and I'm filling in for Laura today uh, to talk about the Industry Outreach Committee. And I was actually um, on, uh, I co-chaired this committee last year, so I'm really excited to be able to talk about it because it's really kind of a fun committee as well. Uh, the purpose of the Industry Outreach Committee is to raise awareness of when within the collision repair industry. And what we spend a lot of time doing is just making sure that we have internal and external connect connections throughout the industry. In 2020, we were really proud to host a SEMA luncheon uh, for our, specifically for our WIN members, uh, something that we believe will become um, eventually a signature event. We also were excited to participate in IBIS, CIC, and CCIF events where we either had an opportunity to speak, uh, to display, or just share some of the information that we've been able to um, gather throughout the years. We are also very interested in helping out other types of the industry. So we did sponsor craft t-shirts or craft shirts for technical students for their uniforms. If you're interested in this committee in this year, the opportunities, there's still a lot of them and there's still a lot of work to be done. So for example, we really could use some help in reaching out to other trade organizations. And since we know there's probably some limited events this year, we want to make sure other organizations know that we're available for virtual calendar events. 
where we could either participate or just help and we can provide whatever resources they might need. So if you know of any other virtual trade events, please, um, you know, please be sure to let us know and we would be happy to reach out and help out. Uh, we're also very interested in maintaining our relationship with CREP and working on our uh, technical schools so we can reach out to even more and reach even more students. The commitment for this committee is similar to others. Um, at least one meeting a month um, followed up with assigned tasks. So on behalf of Laura, uh, this is again a really um, interesting and fun committee and we would love for you to uh, join us as well. Kathy. Hello, uh, I'm Kathy Mello and chair of the committee chair this year for the Most Influential Women Committee. And uh, co-chair is Marie Peavy. Um, historically, over 20 years ago, this uh, was set up to honor women in the collision industry who've gone above and beyond their normal activities to uh, improve the industry as well as the community around them. <clears throat> Excuse me, in 2014, uh, Wynn was privileged with the honor of oversight and continuation of this prestigious event. Um, I'd like to mention this year's honorees who are Crystal Bolin, Christy Jones, and Sandy Lindorfer. And uh, if you um, weren't able to see the webinar uh, where they were featured, uh, it is on our website. You can check that out there. Um, to find out what they've been up to. Uh, nominations usually begin in October and they're finalized December 31st. <clears throat> so we're always um, in the name of constant process improvement, trying to develop a uh, better criteria and framework for soliciting the nominations and making it as, as simple a process as possible. Um, this year we were thwarted with, uh, of course, our situ current situation and uh, had to cancel our um, conference where we usually do the celebration in our gala evening. Uh, and so we're always uh, this year looking for ways to feature our, um, our winners. And um, the some of the opportunities are uh, some of the duties are to create biographies of the past winners, do press releases, uh, oversee the uh, uh, mentor program. That's an, kind of an offshoot uh, and an exciting facet of the um, award is that with their permission, the um, honorees uh, are hooked up with, uh, they're matched with scholarship winners to become their mentors uh, to further the industry. And um, it only requires about uh, one hour a month. And of course, then we have the different tasks, which are, you know, as I mentioned, um, working on nominations, responding to participants, and tracking and processing. Um, the other thing is to, uh, we have a team that uh, passed MIWs who go through the nominations and they strive to keep it systematic, um, transparent, and objective. Um, and I think that the, the most fun part of this committee is, of course, when we have the opportunity, is planning the award ceremony and the execution of that. It's really a, a, an awesome event. So if you enjoy honoring people, event planning, uh, presentation on social media, this one's for you. If it isn't, uh, at least you can, uh, very least you can look around, look for some people that in your midst that have gone above and beyond. And I want to point out that you need not be a WIN member to be nominated or to nominate someone. And so we invite you to do that. Uh, you, if when the this year's uh, application comes out, you can go to uh, the MIW tab to uh, fill that out. Then we'll be announcing when that is ready. I guarantee this is a, a although it's somewhat seasonal um, and a little more intense when the uh, conference comes, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we do meet once a month for now.
Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Trista Anger, and uh, just before I launch into the final three committees, I want to do a bit of a shameless plug. I am currently um, a proud WIN board member and also the only Canadian board member. So always looking for opportunities to bring Canadians on board to any of the committees that we're talking about today. So please keep that top of mind as well. Um, currently, I am the Finance Committee Co-Chair with Yen Huang, who can't join us today. And uh, so we've heard all about these amazing ladies in the front-facing committees. That's what WIN is known for. In and behind the committees that we've talked about already is the nuts and bolts, I guess as we would call it, of the organization. So in looking at the Finance Committee, we're really focused on the sustainability of WIN, making sure that the funds are being applied where they should go um, and that we are sustainable in all of our efforts. So we oversee the financial health and the, and the financial affairs of WIN. We do recommendations uh, for the annual budget. We work with each of the committee members to make sure that we have full financial responsibilities and um, review and recommend financial actions related to strategic planning, so to making sure that there is accountability and, uh, for each committee and, and what we're seeing for the outcomes for WIN. Uh, in terms of opportunities, right now, being a Canadian and working with Yen, I've learned a lot about the American financials, and uh, we could definitely use someone with a, uni a uniquely U.S. financial and accounting knowledge and background. But don't, don't let that uh, hold you back from applying for this committee. Um, again, I wasn't a finance person. I learned a great deal of this, particularly for people that maybe it's a little um, uh, not your segue. Maybe it's not your piece to be so much up front. This is a very, very – it is an interesting committee if that's where you're, you're led. So we would certainly welcome to have opportunities and applications for that. Looking at about one hour a month would be reasonable for this committee. Um, along with the Finance Committee, we also have the Governance Committee. So Kathy Coffey, who you heard from earlier, is the chair of this committee. The committee uh, is responsible for reviewing policies and procedures and ensuring that we have appropriate insurance in place um, as an organization and compliance for WIN bylaws, board policies, and, and that piece. So again, nuts and bolts committees, but very, very crucial, and we would welcome applications. Um, the final and um, absolutely not la last but not least committee, we have our executive committee. So these are a board, board appointed positions and they ensure the overall health, growth and viability of WIN. So they do a lot of planning, a lot of oversight and a fantastic group of ladies. Um, so that is the final three committees, but in looking at, please have a look at the link there. Look to join a committee, it's all there. You can see it's being highlighted right now. Excellent, thank you, Susie. Uh, looking for for all of you for 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 looking for win and and having that that opportunity to to give back to the industry. What an amazing group of ladies! Doesn't matter where we're at. Let's uh, certainly would welcome your application. So thank you. Sorry about that. Hello. Uh, so great ways to get involved with WIN. Uh, the first step is to become a WIN member. So WIN exists to help women in our industry. And so becoming a member and joining through our website is a great way to get involved. Next slide. The next slide, uh, joining joining a WIN committee. I can't emphasize enough. I joined a committee several years ago and it was a great way to be able to network. Also, I, I joined the conference committee. That was the first committee that I joined. And it was great to get to see, like we did all this planning for a year and then to get to see it come into fruition was very rewarding. Um, and to be able to have a say in several things. I've also joined the regional event committee and was able to help collaborate with women in my area to be able to pull off regional events. And I got to know more WIN members and it was a great way to be able to expand my network. So we really very much appreciate that. And it's something that I find personally rewarding in the last uh, 10 years that I've been involved with WIN. And then uh, the next thing, next slide, is attending a WIN, uh, attending WIN events. So being able to attend and register for uh, webinars, and regional events and just being able to be there and being able to connect and being able to expand your network. Also the educational opportunities that WIN provides. Those are fantastic ways to be able to get involved. 
and then I will pass it to my counterparts. All right, uh, last but not least, be a win champion. If you will follow win on all the socials, you'll find it's a great way to promote our mission on a regular basis and connect your networks and supporters to win. And with that, we'll move on to a big announcement. Yeah. Okay, everybody. I am. We are pleased to announce the location for the 2020 um, conference. And I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit, if you haven't attended a conference, um, it's our annual educational conference. It provides a forum for members to establish relationships with others in collision repair, develop leadership skills, and learn how to be forward thinking in a dynamic and changing industry. There's a hint. Can anybody guess where our next location is going to be? Okay, so assuming everything's um, all good, next year, May 2nd through 4th, we are going to be at the Intercontinental in New Orleans, right in the heart of the district. Uh, we will definitely have more details to come as it's unfolding, but we hope to see everybody there. So I hope that everyone um, found this very informational. You know, one of the things that we've heard over the years is people will say, hey, I called in to a committee call, but the people on the call seem like they've got it all together and they don't need me. And that's, I think, our biggest misconception is that um, the, the, it might sound like everyone has it together, but everyone is doing a lot of work that um, if we have more volunteers, we could probably do more things and really, um, you know, spread out the activities that need to have happen and get new, new creativity um, in all of our committees. So we need you. We really do. We'd love to have uh, more involvement from our WIN members. And it's the best way to really get involved and get to know people. And um, it will give you another way to give back to um, the industry um, by joining a committee. Um, so we're going to uh, make sure that we, you know, publish our call calendars and, um, and like you've seen on here, we have a perfect place where you can sign up and say, hey, I wanna learn more about a committee and then you can join those calls and you don't have to commit right away. Why don't you join a call or two and then say, hey, this one is the one for me. And the other thing that is important to point out too is that you don't have to join a committee. Like Trista said, finance wasn't maybe her strongest core competency, but she joined the committee and she's learned new skills. So it's a great way if you wanna expand your skills, maybe in marketing or um, running events like a regional event, it's a great way to sign up and learn new skills and add those to your resume. So we'd love to have all of you, you know, join us in some way, shape or form. Um, we also wanna open it up to say, does anyone have any questions today? You heard from different um, committee uh, chairs today, but do you have any questions? Because if so, we'd like to answer those for you. And um, we've got the little chat box going. So send some questions. Well, while you're thinking, I'd like to say too, thank you to all of you who've been participating on our webinars. Um, we have some new members that joined us um, around the March, April timeframe, and they've been joining us on all these webinars. So it's exciting to see um, your names um, each time connecting with us with our webinars. And we hope this is a way too that you'll get, you know, get to know more of us and get to know more about WIN. Um, so thank you to our new WIN members too. Let's see. All right, great. So we have a question. Um, if I'm interested in connecting with industry outreach, um, who can I connect with? So that's a great question. So if you see at the bottom of the screen to, um, to join a committee or to learn more about it, um, see that, you're, that um, you can either scan the QR code or you can go on our website too and go to that or go to that link there. And that's where you would put in your name. And again, by doing this, you're not committing 
but it's a way to get you connected with the right committee co-chair. And, um, and then uh, the committee co-chair will reach out to you and you're welcome to join in a call or two um, and learn a little bit more about it uh, and what the team's doing. So thank you for that question, Ruby. Uh, let's see, see if there's any more. Okay, great. Um, so I've got a question for Debbie. How many scholarships do you award yearly? Um, we average around 10, but we're not limited to 10. This past year we had 11. We actually had our first one from Canada this past year. And, and last year we had 29 applicants. Some were from Canada and we've got one from Hawaii for our first time. So. This year is our goal is to reach out to all 50 states and try to get interest in all 50 states. So, what happens? Thank you, Debbie. Welcome. The um, one of the, um, thank you for we have a comment from John here talking about that this was helpful to him to learn a little bit more about when, and um, this webinar is being recorded, so this will be on our uh, website as well. So if you want to share this webinar with anyone um, in the industry who you think might be interested, please share it with them because that, you know, really the goal is to help people understand what WIN is all about and where those opportunities are to get involved. And I think the committees did a nice job of showing you the time commitment. And um, a lot of committees have like just even a, a task that happens once a year where they could use help with that one particular task and that would add a ton of value and will be rewarding for you too. So um, let's see if we have any other questions. The chat is actually kind of fun. If you're not participating in the chat, you should start participating in the little chat over here. <laughs> and I did put also on the chat that um, the report to the industry just went out yesterday. It talks about all the things that we've been working on this last calendar year and or the last 12 months rather and um, it went to the WIN members um, yesterday and then it'll be shared with the rest of the industry um, over the next couple of days so you can read a little bit more about what we have going on so well it looks like those are all the questions for today so thank you to everyone who called in today. Thank you for your time and for your interest in WIN. For those of you who are WIN members, thank you for all your, your uh, dedication and the time you spend um, volunteering for WIN and giving back to the industry. So thank you all, appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye everybody.